Hey guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita, and today I am going to teach you how to make a tray for your coffee table, and don't worry, it's super simple. Let's jump in. Hey guys, I am doing a super fun, really easy project today, um, and taking pictures and videos, and of course I'll share it with you in a blog post, but I thought I would just kind of show you what I'm working on today. So I'm making a really fun and super simple tray. Uh, like a decorative tray and I'm using these wooden bead leg things. Um, I have four of these and I've had these supplies sitting around for a long time and I've been meaning to do this um, and just haven't gotten around to it. I'm finally doing it today. But, so I'm taking those wooden legs and I'm putting them on a plate. And I got this plate oh, last summer. Again, I said I've had these supplies for a while, um, but it is from Target and it's the Project 62 line. Um, but I don't think they sell this exact one anymore because I was just there this weekend and I didn't see it. Um, but really any type of ceramic fun plate um, you can find or at a thrift store or if you have one laying around. And then I'm attaching the legs to the bottom of the plate with Dab's Rapid Fuse. And this is a kind of newer version of their Rapid Fuse. If you're familiar with it, this is when I think it came out last year. Um, but it is the gel control applicator. So it's just meant to be, a, it's a little thicker than the normal Rapid Fuse glue. Um, and so it'll just stay in place better. So we shouldn't see a lot of it like squeezing out the sides when I put the legs on the bottom of the plate. Um, so I'm gonna get started and I'll share with you some tips that I learned along the way. Let's start with the supplies. Here's what you'll need. We used two inch wooden knobs as feet for our tray, and then you're also gonna wanna have a sanding block. For the glue, we were using DAP Rapid Fuse Fast Curing Gel with a gel control applicator. You're gonna need a plate. We got this one at Target. And then to seal the feet, we used a clear aerosol lacquer. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, you can see here that these legs have a flat side on one side, but the bottom is completely round, which would probably work, but I kind of was holding it under the plate and they were kind of wanting to roll around a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is just very lightly sand the bottom side. So it's just a little bit of a flat surface. I'm not gonna sand much, um, but just so it's not like wanting to roll like that. It just gives it a little place to sit. So I've done sanding the bottoms and I really didn't do much. You can kind of see there like 30 seconds of rubbing on that sanding block. Um, and my goal here was just to make it so that when you set them up right, they kind of stay in place rather than roll around. So now these are just raw wood. Um, I wasn't gonna seal them, but now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should just in case um, something spills on these or something. We'll probably have this tray on our coffee table. So. Chances are something may spill on these from time to time. So I'm going to go ahead and seal these. To seal the wooden feet, I used the clear spray lacquer. I did about three light coats in a well-ventilated area and let them dry for 24 hours. So I waited 24 hours to give the lacquer a chance to dry and cure. That's what it said on the can of lacquer. So I waited 24 hours, those are dry, and now it's time to put them on the plate. Now, if you've been around a while, you know that I love the Rapid Fuse all-purpose adhesive, but this time I was trying the semi-new gel control and it was a little thicker, but it worked great. It has the same fast setting characteristics as Rapid Fuse that you're probably familiar with if you've used it. And that is that it sets in just 30 seconds and then it fully cures within 30 minutes. So I held each foot in place for 30 seconds and then I left it alone for 30 minutes and let it fully cure. And then it was time to style the tray, which of course was my favorite part. Now, just to give you guys a lot of inspiration, I tried out the tray in three different places in our house. And that is proof that it is just so versatile, you can actually put it just about anywhere. So the first place I tried it was on the coffee table. And for our coffee table, we just used it to corral some items that we already had sitting on the table, a potted plant, this decorative clay knot, and our TV remote. You could also put some other living room essentials on your tray like coasters or a candle or a vase of flowers. So cute, right? 
The next place I took the tray was to our bathroom to use it as a vanity tray. And I put a little concrete bowl full of Q-tips on the tray that I had on a shelf. I put this uh, vintage pottery full of some pompous grass and then just some eye cream that I already had sitting out. You could also use it to put face cream, lotion, perfume, jewelry, vitamins, or anything else that you keep out on your bathroom counter. I think it's such a cute way to just add a little bit of style and kind of keep everything correct and organized on your bathroom counter. The next place I took the tray, the final place, was the kitchen. And I put it next to our oven and I just used it to kind of pull together some of the kitchen essentials, like our olive oil dispenser, salt and pepper shakers, and just a small marble salt cellar that I have with that lid, and then our canister full of kitchen utensils. I think it looks great here as well. So many fun ideas for this decorative tray. I hope you guys loved this video and I hope you're convinced now that you can make a simple DIY tray like this and it just takes a few minutes of your time. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel while you're here. There's a button right here to do that. We share weekly DIY and renovating tutorials. And then while you're here, I think you should definitely check out this video next. I think you'll love it. All right guys, see you next week. Have a good day.